Three. Hello. Two, three. Uh, everyone, once again, I'm Mr. Araba, uh, Review Director of Araba Review Center Philippines. Uh, this is a continuation of, uh, continuation of the discussion regarding uh, the growth and development, uh, the previous discussion that we had is all about the growth and development of, of the child. Uh, that was all about uh, theories, uh, theories of growth and development. Now here, uh, this is all about uh, distribution and scoring of uh, scores. Uh, this is more on mathematical view. Uh, distribution is or scoring of scores works. So we are going to analyze now as to how the uh, class uh, scores distributed. Now, uh, firstly, the uh, distribution of the distribution of scores. You have to consider you have to consider two groups of the scores. Uh, two groups of scores. One one part. Uh, one group is uh, representing scores for lower class, then the other group representing scores for the higher class. So in order to uh, represent it or to illustrate it in the uh, forms, so let's start with uh, what we call normal form. Normal form of scores. We have her uh, vertical and horizontal axis of our form supposed to be then uh, we have to consider if we if we consider this one as zero here zero point so all the scores here from here increases increases and increases so this is in ascending order and we have any bigger scores here. So shall we say this is the boundary uh, of the two class now uh, this part is supposed to be for lower lower scores and this one is for higher score, the other side. Now, if the core, if the number of scores or the scores distribution is equally distributed, wherein the number of scores of the lower class is the same as the number of the scores in the higher class, means L is equal to H. Uh, this will determine the what we call normal, normal core. And the normal core, this will determine the normal chord. And the normal chord means uh, it is a bell time. So let us say this is the chord uh, distribution of the lower. Then we have also the higher here. It means uh, it seems the uh, form is a bell time chord. So take note that the number of uh, scores on the, on the lower is the same as the number of scores in the higher. So we say in order to have the, the clear view that this is distributed equally. So we have where uh, the, lower, the lower side and the upper side. So the lower is just the same as the higher here. So this score is a built time core, and then this represents that the number of scores distributed, uh, the scores distributed, number of scores distributed in the lower class is the same as the number of scores distributed in the higher class. That's why we call it as uh, we have here A equals X, then we represent it as a normal uh, form. Now, what will happen if it is not in the same number or the, the lower is not equal to higher? So it represents another form of, of form like this. Let us say more on lower class than a little than the higher class. So let us say this one is for lower, this one is for higher. So it means that more on the more on the higher class, then we have the report a little for the uh, high, uh, higher, higher, higher scores. So it means that uh, it seems that uh, the uh, the core, the higher core, is being pulled to the right, to the right of the course. So it means the lower 
is more than the higher or lower scores is more than the higher scores as it is being represented here. So as you all look, it's, it, it seems that these uh, scores here, the higher scores are is be, uh, being pulled in the form to the right. So the schooling here is uh, we term as uh, school to the right scores. The scores are school to the right. The school to the right, as you have noticed here, it is uh, it's School to the right, and the scores are school to the right. Or, or we can say uh, positively school scores. So you can observe the positively uh, school scores here. Positively school scores. It is positively school scores because it is to the right. To the right is positive, to the left is negative. But what is being called here in a record, by this uh, tail here, seems to be the, the number of scores there in the lower, which is uh, lower class, which has a uh, bigger value compared to the higher. So it, it seems you can see them, you can, uh, you can visualize uh, the, the pulling of uh, this form, the, uh, the lower to the right. That's why we have our school to the right scores, or maybe positively school scores. Positively in the sense that it is to the right. And then we have the last uh, condition. When the curve is more uh, shows or represents or shows the uh, more scores on the higher part or the higher group. More scores in the higher group, less on the lower group. We have a higher, so the higher is bigger than is bigger than the uh, lower. So as you have noticed, it seems that uh, the core more on higher is being pulled to the left. So this is what we call uh, uh, school to the left scores. School to the left scores. Or the scores is school to the left. Or negative is school. When it is to the left, it represents negative. So it is negatively school scores. So these are the important uh, aspects when it comes to distribution and scoring of scores. Now we are showing here two parts or two uh, kinds of scores, the lower and the higher scores. So we have a number of lower scores and the high, number of the higher scores. Uh, to summarize uh, these three curves, uh, when the lower is the same as the number of the higher uh, scores, uh, it means a normal chord. Then uh, for the school, uh, for, for, school uh, for the core, which has uh, lower scores, uh, greater than the higher scores, it means that uh, the core seems to be pulled to the right, or it is school to the right, or positively school scores. And then, uh, we have also another, another form here where it is more on higher than the lower, so higher is bigger than lower, so it seems that the core or the higher here, uh, more on higher scores is being pulled to the left, that's why we have a school to the left, a school to the left, and then uh, negative skewed uh, scores. Now remember we are talking about scores here, so if we are talking about scores, it means that uh, we must have this uh, we must have this, uh, what we call central tendency, uh, central tendency measurement. The central tendency measurements are, the central tendency measurements are the, the uh, mood, the uh, main, and the median. I suppose to be the, the median is uh, in the center, and we have heard the main. 
Now, so it means that uh, we can expect that if there are more score on the left, it seems that the mood is, uh, uh, we, can easily, we can easily imagine that the mood is right here, that the mood here is uh, lower. Then for the uh, mid-jump, we have heard the mid-jump in D, and then the main supposed to be is smaller than the mood. Or on the other side then, we have heard the more or higher, so it seems that uh, it is more logical that we can say that the mood, uh, score, uh, the mood of this course uh, is higher, on the higher side. Then we have the mid-jump here, and then the main. So the main is, uh, is smaller than the, the mood, while this one, the main, is uh, bigger than uh, the mood. So that is the representation of these uh, three uh, simple tendency measurements in re with regards to distribution and scoring of scores for. So this, uh, that's all for today for this discussion. If you have, uh, if you want to have some explanation or expansion of this discussion, you may visit us at uh, Robar Review Center Philippines with this number, or you can email us with this one, then uh, do some suggestions and uh, uh, observations so we can uh, explain further regarding this. So, uh, so far, this is, uh, that's all. this is all for today for distribution and scoring of scores. So, good luck and then good day to everyone.